same page on here, yeah. You're always more welcome on the bridge. That's a hot setup right there. If you get that twinge and not doing good, that's the place to be. It's going to be rough out there today. So just remember, Bo's going to try and throw you on your ass all day. When you go up that ladder, where the ladder goes through, it's not like most boats that you just over the side. This one goes through the overhang there. So if you're up on the bridge and the boat makes you stumble, and you stumble into that hole, you're going to break your leg. So just be aware when you're up there, you got to watch out for that hole. Up forward on the bridge, about right in here, there's a blue windscreen. It's right where everybody wants to grab it. And the problem is it's plexiglass. So if you lean on it this way and go through, it be like going through a plate glass window. I had a guy grab it and go this way, fortunately. He was broken in his piece, was on his hand. He went, damn. <laughs> I said, yeah, I'm not supposed to grab the windshield there, but yeah. Anyway, be a little careful of that. If you get feeling bad, that's the hot setup. We'll take a little bucket up there. But if you're already up there, all of a sudden you've got to let loose, which can happen sometimes. <laughs> don't go to the rail and go over the side. Because if you do, anybody down here is going to be going to get it. I hope that's <laughs> man, you're mad. <laughs> 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 right, so if you get stuck up there, I know it's probably not going to happen with all you guys. Everybody's been on boat. Just sew up right on the deck. Then we'll make sure everybody's out here. Rinse it off and stuff. Yeah. What's going to happen, we're going to get out here and we're going to go through a whole bunch of stuff. Again, every boat has its own way. We like to get our folks involved. A lot of guys are so afraid somebody's going to get hurt. It's like, don't do this, don't do that, whatever you do, don't do this. And I go, damn, that's a lot of don't. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to talk about, we're going to fish on. What happens, of course, especially if it's a screaming bite, the condominer goes right out the damn window. People are falling down the ladder. Like, the damn military guys want to jump over the Those rail. Those damn military no, 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 guys. <laughs> but then we're going to go through about clearing lines and the whole shebang. Because if you guys all help Ray, if you want, said what everybody wants to do. But if you do help him, it makes us faster, better, and everything else. So it's a, and it's more fun for everybody. Yeah. You know, so we're going to talk a little bit about all that to talk about the technique of fighting fish. It might be different. In Florida, they don't do much fighting in the fishing chair. I mean, the fighting chair with that bus is the most like they are idiots. Man, I'm line. Yeah. Well, we're going to be trolling all day, except for when we're baiting. But so we're fishing for the surface feeding fish. We're not going to be bottom fishing or like that. One last thing I forgot to head down these stairs on that side over there. The starboard side. Marine head, standard marine head, pain in the ass. The little button, button there. It's electric motor. You hit it, goes ah uh -huh, like that. Sign down there says, please don't put anything in the head unless you've eaten it first. Obviously, that doesn't include TP, but no <laughs> cigarette butts or paper towels or any of that kind of stuff. I should also have a sign down there that says, gentlemen, please be seated. But I don't. And some guys don't like to sit down to take a piss. So I just tell them if they're going to stand up, they got to get in that bar room lean, kind of like he is right there, except with your elbow this way. And that way, if the boat rolls around on you, because as soon as you feel the boat start to turn, it's going to go like this. You know, if you feel it turn this way, it's going to go like that. So be aware, because you can get caught right here sometimes, right here on the table, which is bad when that happens. You know, I really like my table here, so let's go break that today. <laughs> now, the fairest way to do this, some guys, they draw cards. Number one goes first, number two goes second. Or they go number one's up for 20 minutes, number two's up for two. Well, you're hardly ever fishing that way. Either if you're number five, you might as well lay down, take a, a nap if you're going one, two, three, four, five. Or if you're 20 minutes on, then you're an hour off. So the fairest way. What we do, we're going to always have five lines in the water unless we're baiting and then sometimes we can't have five and we'll make it as fair as we can for everybody. But generally, we always have five lines at least in the water. Everybody will have a rod. It goes by the number, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to start out on this pole right here. We put a rubber band around that reel. That's one and two, three, four. So if this rigger gets hit, you'll see when we set up, it'll go number five and number five will be in the chair. Or number three or number two, whoever it is. Everybody's fishing, so the fish guys decide what's happening. Now, Maybe you've already caught a mine mine and you want your buddy to catch away. Whatever you guys do that way is fine by us. We don't care. But this way, it makes it as fair as we can for everybody. Everybody's fishing all the time. And if you happen to give it up to your buddy, then you could always rag it that he'd never caught that fish. But was it for you? <laughs> Elders first. Well, let me see. <laughs> Who's going to be the elder here? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll take that middle one there. Okay, everybody else is about to save. Don't matter. Yep. Then beauty lasts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> let, me have, let me have him back here. But just remember that number. You're that number all day. Ace is one. Two. So it's going to go one, two, three, four, five once we get set up. Nice. Now, generally, we're back sometime around three o'clock. We don't care. So you guys have to be back at a certain time? No. Nope. Everybody's got the day for whatever. Nope. Let's go catch some fish. Let's go catch some fish. There we go. Do it to it. Do it to it. I like that. Yes, sir.
bit rocky out here today, but we should be good. It's only a three hour tour. A three hour tour. Let me stop before I die for real. Uh, that would suck. You know, that would suck a. So, but it's gonna be a good trip.